Okay, it is time to paint the kitchen cabinets. And just so you know, the kitchen cabinets are upside down right now. So if it looked kind of weird, that's why. But here is the color we went for. Bing. So the color is called terracotta. So it's kind of like that, that earthy clay color. Okay, so that's all we have right now because all we got was a, a little sample of it. And I absolutely love this color, but gotta check to see if Ashley likes it first. <sighs> that's good. Yeah. I love it. Me too. I love it. Yeah, and I feel like it just warms the place up yeah. with all the whites. I love it. Mwah. It looks just like clay. It looks like the it, desert. Yeah. Okay, today is a scary day because I am cutting the butcher block for our cabinets, which if I mess that cut up, that's a $320 mistake. It's also a super hot day today, and so if you hear the AC, that's because I have it on full blast because it is over 80 degrees outside today, so I'm trying to keep it cool in here. But this is our butcher block, and what I'm having to do is I'm going to split this in two to make one side over this corner, one side over this corner, and the stove in between. So what I decided to do, since we have kind of L, uh, L cabinets, is instead of trying to join them together, I got one piece that I'm literally just gonna trim the edges to the shape of the cabinet. The reason I did that is that way it's just one solid piece, and so then with the bus as we're driving and they're going over any bumps, we don't have to worry about those joints where we, we're joining two butcher blocks together, uh, breaking and, and, and becoming undone. So. I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but that's the way that I'm doing it. Measure twice, cut once, or in my case, measure millions of times and cut once and then maybe like sand it down and, and figure it out from there. <laughs> okay, here we go, the million dollar cut, and then several more after that. Okay, <laughs> so that million dollar cut, I also had the AC running on the same outlet as my miter saw, and so it tripped the outlet mid-cut, so winning. We know it'll all be okay, but it's these cuts that are definitely like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Scott knocked it out of the park, got this kind of sanded and routed, and it looks flawless. Well, I say that. Scott says it doesn't look perfect and it gives it character, but I think it looks fantastic. It fits the space. Gives it a little bit of character. A little bit of spice. <laughs> I love it. Yay! Wow. You did it! Oh, uh, we don't know yet. But I cut the hole, now it's about to Wow! Woo, doggy! That is beautiful! Okay, so far it is going well with the countertops. Um, it's just a lot of like figuring stuff out because with the cabinets and everything not been like level, not necessarily everything's 100% square, uh, we're just kind of having to figure out everything because when I put that corner cabinet in, that sits in better than the one on the other side. And so there's just a lot of measurements I got to figure out to make sure that when I slide the stove in, it all ends up equal. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Tonight the whiskey feels stronger. Gasoline on hidden desires. So
You guys know the drill. It is sanding time and routing time and then getting it fully prep time. Do you know the drill? I'm just learning the drill, so I don't know. Okay, update, uh, all the countertops have been sealed. Uh, one thing apparently, like when you remove them from the, the, the wrapper type yeah. thing, you have to seal it within 48 hours. So that's something we just kind of like felt like time the crunch The pressure on. was on. So I got them all sealed and then tomorrow we'll probably just put some extra coats on and go from there. So far in today's episode of Let's Get This Kitchen Finished, Scott has already mounted the undermount sink and now he's working on installing the kitchen faucet. Okay, so one quick tip, because I was having a hard time mounting uh, the undermount sink by myself. So what I ended up doing was getting a 2x2 two two, and then getting a clamp, putting the clamp through the hole of the sink like this, and then using the clamp to pull the sink up to the countertop so then I could get underneath and install the brackets. Um, I wanted to share that because it stumped me for a while. I was like trying to hold it and push it up and then... This is a, a really cool tip. Thinking back to all I loved and lost My heart is full and making strong So I'll throw Okay, so I got the two faucets um, all detached. Um, I just need to do all the plumbing underneath. Um, and so this one has like the braided hose, which we really like. It moves around and stuff like that. And then this one is actually for uh, drinking water. So we will have a uh, five-step filtration for drinking water in our bus and a three-step filtration underneath the sink. So I'll tell you more about the filter in just a bit. off a lot of things on the kitchen to-do list. The sink is now mounted. The faucet and drinking faucet are now put in place as well. And we just got the range oven stove thing all hooked up and connected for the first time. Okay, gonna wrap it up for today. It's getting dark, but this is the perfect time to show you it working. You guys ready? Woo! So that's one setting where it just lights all of these up and it's just decorative and then you have another setting which then also does the inside uh, stove light. Beautiful. Blue, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, back on the bus. And right now I wanna show you the under sink water filter that I was talking to you about yesterday. So this is what we have got, and I am so excited about this. So real quick, to run you through our system, uh, the water filtration system that we have is whenever we fill up, wherever we fill up, other than it hooked up to city water, we will use a RV uh, water filter to fill up our tank. Then from the tank, we have just a regular like house filter that you can pick up from Home Depot, Lowe's, and that's just so then any water that's just kind of been sat there, as soon as it leaves the tank, it goes through a filtration system. So that's going to be anything from our you know, regular sink water to our uh, shower water, all that stuff, so that'll be filtered. But then for our drinking water, we have this from Water Drop. So this is a smart three-part filtration system. And it's really cool. This pops off and you have your three different filters here. And what I love about this is it's super compact and then it's also super easy to just switch out each and every filter. All you do is pop it out. And so this is just gonna be super easy and convenient for us. And what I like about this is it has three different filters that has to be changed at different times but it has um, LED lights up here, so it'll tell you which filter you need to change and when you need to change it. It's also battery operated, so we don't need power running to this thing. And then all we need to do is pop this back on. 
and be good to go. This will have a dedicated spigot, which is the small spigot I kind of showed you yesterday. And so any drinking water that we have will come straight from this guy. So then we can just be like super confident wherever we are that we're gonna have clean, safe, nice drinking water. thing left to do is to actually test the water so wish us luck so make sure the water's going to this oh. Oh, you it out. Ah, see that? Oh, does, that's that does that instantly hot or just filtered water? No, it's cold. Oh. Go, look how pretty this water looks! Okay, so it has to go through a 10 minute flushing process to hold the three filters be for the initial installation. We just went through that, it's ready, and now we're gonna drink some water. Our first filtered drinking water in the bus! You ready? Cheers. Cheers. No, that's what I wanted I was going to do a spit take. <laughs> delicioso! Can you say delicioso? It's so good! Now we can have water wherever we are. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We have fire! Okay, we have a fully functioning kitchen. It might not be completely like pretty Finished. Yet, but we have fridge, we have water, and we have a stove. So we it's could, good enough for us. We could live This is really actually pretty crazy to think that it was our own water, our own propane, like our own stuff in our own house on wheels to make our first cup of tea. Like we've had many a cups of tea in here, but none made by the bus. So anyways, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm about to do something a little crazy and I'm pretty nervous, but I'm about to put a five inch hole in the countertop right here. So if I haven't messed it up yet, there's still a chance. Um, but yeah, something super exciting is gonna be in this spot. In just a second. Like I said, still a chance. <laughs> like, like that's a that's a pretty decent size hole, right? I'm gonna do some measuring first. I know it doesn't look like much, but cutting through this bunch of block is no joke. Oh, okay, change of events. There's a tornado warning and a flash flood warning happening right now, so might have to do this later. <laughs> Our scans yeah. to give us a better yeah. update. They should be coming in momentarily with new updates and showing us where this possible uh, tornado is moving to the north and to the east. 